Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm finally gonna be trying on my boxy charm products from this month. I'm super excited to finally put these on for you guys. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever. Life has been super hectic and crazy the last like two weeks, maybe three weeks now. I don't even know. But yeah, there's just been a lot going on, a lot of just interesting things in life. So I'm finally able to have time to sit down and actually film and really like focus and concentrate. Today, I'm super excited for this to be filmed. So I'm gonna put my little ears on. Oh yeah, I recolored my hair finally too. It was looking like a hot mess for a minute there. Like my roots were out of control and it was like so faded. And I switched my plugs because when I was sleeping the other day, I guess one of them fell out and I cannot find it anywhere to save my life. So I'm thinking it's somewhere under my bed, but it could be anywhere in my room, honestly. I've been working on cleaning it too because it was a hot mess. It's less of a hot mess now. <coughs> Oh, my highlight is like so breaking. It's not a happy highlight. I might have to throw it away. Uh oh. It like super broke. I have to go buy new eyelash glue too. Just gotta go buy all the new makeup. To start with, I am gonna use this Laura Geller blush. It is Topic Hues and it's the Baked Blush and Brighten. That is what this looks like. So we're just gonna see how it applies onto the cheek. Got some shimmer to it. It's not super pink like I'm used to, but it doesn't look bad. So just add a little color. It does have a decent amount of not I guess it's fallout, yeah. Makes it messy, but now it's clean again. But look how pretty that is, like all the like cracks and designs through it. So beautiful. It's like a little galaxy. Yeah, so that is this. It looks like it's just real light for me, but it's really pretty. It doesn't go on super heavy, so if you are not looking for a super heavy blush, this would probably be a good one. Just because, I mean, it's there, but it's not like crazy there. Like, I'm telling you guys, you know, I wear like a hundred pounds of blush if you watch any of my other videos. My poor highlight moved forward. I don't know if I can show you guys, but... It is not a happy highlighter. It like cracked all weird and then now it's just moving around in there. It's got a life of its own in this little box that it's trying to get out of. We all know highlight is where it's at. And this one is so good, but it's probably gonna have to. I'm gonna try to keep it. And I've been trying to keep it for a while now. And it just slowly but surely keeps getting worse. I don't even know how it moved because it won't move now. See? It used to be down there and it's up here now and then this whole top broke out. It's just a hot mess. Now we're gonna get into this beautiful little palette. The Nightingale. We're gonna take off the mirror protector. So, obviously, this color Break Free. I have to put that all over my lid because it is just so beautiful. So that is gonna be the eyeshadow base slash eyelid covering color. Super cute. It's nice and shimmery and bright. The base is on and it's looking fabulous. So sparkly, I love it. Okay, for my next color. Oh, this is gonna be so much darker than what I've worn in a long time, but that's okay. We're gonna do it anyways. It might be too fat and fluffy, but we're gonna try it for the crease. I think I'm gonna do flip out this brown color here. So this brush is super like fluffy and like soft, which is good. The only thing is it's not condensed enough to really like build as quick as other ones, but it's not bad. If you want like a real light, pretty, soft crease, this is really good for that. If you want like a really like bold, crazy, like heavy crease, 
This is just a little too fluffy. And if you're going for something softer, this is like literally perfect. Yeah, just perfectly blended that out all soft. I'm pretty impressed. Just kind of nice, because I don't always like to have like a super harsh cream. Like with this, this is darker makeup, so I really don't want it to be extremely intense. I kind of want it to be more of like a, not natural, but like in between natural and dramatic. And I think this brush does really well for that. Yay! So this brush is really good actually. Next, I'm going to go in with this brush and go in with dark side. I'm just gonna place that underneath the brown. Just to deepen it a little bit. You really do not need a lot of product with this eyeshadow at all. I feel like I'm like blending like slower than ever. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna use this little flat brush. And I think I'm going to go in with Silver Spoon. And I'm just going to take that and put that on the outer part of my eyelid. About midway. This does have some fallout. It's not horrible. Okay, so that's that so far. Now I'm going to also take this flat brush, this other flat brush, from from the palette. No, not from the palette, from the boxy charm brush set. And for the rest of the lid, I'm going to go in with Clutch. It just looks so pretty. That's that color. These are very pigmented. You really do not need a lot of product, which is awesome, because then this can actually last a while. Now, I'm gonna go in with that same color, just with the finger, and just build it up a little bit more, because I want that inner corner just a tiny bit more dramatic. Can you guys tell the difference with the finger without? It adds a little bit more intensity. Now, I'm gonna go in with this small flat brush. I'm gonna take that first, no, not the first. I'm gonna take that same clutch color. I'm gonna drag it a little bit under the eye. Then I'm gonna take the same brush and take silver spoon, which is that blue color. Drag it underneath. So as it looks so far, I am gonna go in with this brush with the first brown and just kind of build it up a tiny bit more. So it just has a little more size to it and a little more darkness to the Risa and a little bit above. So that is the eyeshadow look with this palette. I actually really like I actually really like this palette. It has really great just neutral pretty colors in it and it just they go on super well. They blend out super well. They have just a tiny bit of fallout. Nothing crazy. So it's easy to just get rid of when it does fall out. I'm gonna wipe one more time. Are you safe? Yeah, the fallout's not bad at all in this palette, and you don't need a lot of product, so this will last you a good amount of time, which is awesome. And I think it was like 30 something dollars, 35. That's not bad for a palette. And it's so cute! It's a little bird cage. Next is this Butter London Glazen Lustrous Liner, and it's called Disco. So shake me up on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but we're gonna try this out. This stuff is like way more wet than I'm used to for liquid eyeliner. The lid is sparkly, so I'm guessing this is supposed to be sparkly. It is sparkly. Let's see if it's sparkly on them. Um, if it is, I can't see it. <laughs> but it does have sparkles in it, apparently. So you definitely have to kind of build this one up a little bit, but it's not bad. And it goes on well. So that's good. Let's do the other eye real quick. Okay. So I put mascara on off camera because my camera decided to shut off from on for a little while so i have the eyeliner on mascara on all that good stuff on and it looks really good i really do like this eyeliner actually a lot really pretty 
Now I'm just gonna take the first brush, the fluffy big brush, and just softly like diffuse this onto the eyeliner. And I'm just gonna like roll this up a tiny bit more, just a little more soft. So that is the full eye look. I think it's so cute. And I haven't worn like this many neutral tones in so long that it's actually kind of nice. So now I'm going to apply some lip liner really quick. Alrighty, the lip liner is on. We're gonna do the Pink and Henry lip color. It is Petal Pusher. It's so pink. It smells really good though. Okay, now I'm gonna just shake out my lips really quick. So that is this lip color. It's actually really pretty. It's a little bit more intense than I was expecting, but I actually really do like it. It goes well with this eye look. So they are cute together, which is really pink, like pink pink, but I like it. And it already is dry. It doesn't feel like disgusting dry. It's like soft dry, which is nice with matte lips. You guys probably know the super super dry ones are not super fun, and then these ones are just nice and dry. But not in an uncomfortable way. Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna glue on my eyelashes to complete the full look. So I will do that real quick. Okay, guys. So this is the final look with eyelashes on. Now I'm just gonna set it real quick. Okay, take off these ears. So this is the final look with everything on. Except my eyelashes trying to leave me. Oh, wait, well, I had eyelashes on. But the glue is too dry now to use. It's super messed up. Yep. Anyway, so this is the final look with everything on. And the products work super well. I was impressed with everything that came in this box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope if you got this box, this helped maybe give you an idea what you can do with all the stuff you got. And thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye guys!